This is an ABC 10 News update. You're welcome. <laughs> this is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. At least one person died after a fire ripped through a home in Poway. Fire started just after four Friday morning at a home on Crocker Road. Sheriff's deputies got there first and saw a person laying in a bedroom through a window, but they were not able to get to that person because of the smoke and flames. Firefighters got the fire out and have been going through the scene to see if anyone else may have been inside. Cause of that fire, of course, under investigation. San Diego State announced a new COVID policy. The university will now require all eligible residential students and student athletes to get a booster shot. Those who don't get the shot must show proof of a negative test every seven days. Certain exemptions will still be accepted. The new policy going into effect January 18th. Well, firefighters, lifeguards and ice skaters taking part in the annual Light the Way event at Rady Children's Hospital. Patients and staff got to enjoy the light parade courtesy of San Diego Fire Rescue and the San Diego lifeguards last night. Sponsors and fundraisers also gathered at Rady Children's Ice Rink at Liberty Station for an evening of skating and music. The County of San Diego lit up the County Administration Building with the Rady colors to show support for the event and the kids and how fun for the kids to have all the I fire know. trucks and the lights going by. I still haven't gone ice skating and I feel like there are so many skating rinks in San Diego. You mean Diego. not that just this year, but ever? Ever. Wow. You yeah, gotta go. I kind of don't trust myself. I'm going to end up coming back to just work for you and probably in crutches. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go ahead and switch gears and talk about the forecast. A lot of changes on the way as we say hello to your weekend and look forward to your holiday week. Right now, satellite radar composite shows that most of those showers that we saw overnight have cleared and a lot of us are going to see clear skies by the afternoon. And as far as temperatures go, we will also be much warmer than yesterday. We're talking about a five to 10 degrees difference. Coastal areas are going to top out in the low to mid 60s, close to 70 degrees in the inland valleys. Mountain areas, plenty of sunshine near 50 in near 70 in the desert. Just a heads up though, we still do have that wind advisory that's in effect until tomorrow morning. We could see uh, those winds gusting close to 30, 40 miles per hour at times through the western slopes and some of those inland valley spots. Coastal uh, highs are going to top out in the mid 60s this afternoon and we'll stay in this pattern for the next few days. Not a ton of fluctuation as far as temperatures go. We cool down though ahead of our next winter storm making its arrival just in time for your Christmas Eve. Jim. Vanessa, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.